Hi, I'm Don Whitaker. I'm here today to uh, just showcase some of the changes I've made with uh, a student I've been working with for a year exactly now. Um, this is a local uh, pro uh, playing in just some local events, but he's looking at moving up to playing like a Euro Pro and uh, hopefully beyond that into next season. Um, so we're going to have a look now at where Liam's at with uh, his golf game. Now we've made some changes here to his posture, he had way too uh, much knee flex previously here on the left hand side of the screen, he was a little bit sloppy and his uh, core was nowhere near engaged enough. His golf clubs were actually a little bit too upright as well, um, so it wouldn't allow him to uh, have his hands hanging down enough because the toe would have been off the floor by a long way. Now what we then saw is during this takeaway, we saw that uh, there was no turn of the hips. The right shoulder worked very, very high, as we can see right here. So we can see that this left shoulder tended to look upwards in this direction here. And his right hand was very much on top of the golf club in this direction. And the club face was very, very closed right here. But on top of that, we saw that there was absolutely no hip turn um, from the right hip as the club moved away. Now what we see is as the body turn starts the club back, we can see that... He, he turns the body away as a single unit, but at this point now, the spine is here, and the club face is matching that stacked spine position right there. So they're parallel to one another. And what we see, the club's still an extension of the belly button, but at this point now, we can see the difference in where the golf club is. The right hand and the left hand are working in conjunction with one another, and uh, is creating um, some space for himself just by allowing his right hip to turn out of the way so the hands can work inwards. Now what we then see is as this golf club uh, is swung a little bit further along right here we, we notice that the club went upright very very quite excessively really so the club extension point was pointing down to his toes here and we notice that the club face is very closed right there you know we just highlight that a little further here. Notice that it's pretty shut down right here. Now, we have a look at it on the new move here, and we take it to the same position. We now notice that the club face is in a very neutral position, and it's very square. So it's very, very different to where it was. Take him on just a touch further on the old one. We are definitely noticing that. Um, the golf club is very, very up right here. Uh, club face is very closed. And the arms collapsed into the body, went very long and across the line with very, very little hip turn. So there's no room in this golf swing. His arms are essentially collapsing into his body. Now there's a lot of width in this golf swing with plenty of depth as well. And everything's superbly lined up at the top here. And this is way beyond 90 degree shoulder turn. It's just a lot more synced up to the top. So now, as it comes through with the old one, what we'll notice is the golf shaft got very steep because it was the only way to get the arms back in front of his body. Okay. Now we'll notice that because of the room created in the backswing for the hip, that right elbow moves to the front part of the hip, but the golf shaft can shallow a lot more. So you see a huge difference in where the shaft is located here and then here. So there's a lot more room with the arms in front of the body. So now... Because he feared the golf shot going left, he always worked the handle upwards a lot, kind of inverting it, and had the left arm a long way past the face. So what this uh, then led to is that his path was going to be a long, long way from the inside because he delivered his hands so far forwards at impact. But at the same time as this, he inverted the butt, so this opened the face. So actually this meant that he just hit a lot of high pushes, but at times he could hit a massive draw. So now what we'll notice is, on the new one here, we'll see how these hands are working more around with the body. So now we see that everything works around together. We look at the exit point, it's a lot lower down through his body, whereas we see the exit point previously was higher, and we can see how he's working more underneath it. You can see it's a lot lower around here on the new one, it's a lot higher up on the old one. So he's tending to tuck the pelvis underneath himself in this direction. Okay the club would work upwards. This then led to much more of a throw around finish as he had so much extra energy in the club head just due to his arms expanding away so much through impact 
now everything's just linking up and syncing up a lot, lot better. Now we've just got this little training aid here to help him think, feel like he's trying to match that goal shaft a little better at, at impact. But overall, these are some pretty big changes that we've made, and I feel that he's going to have a super season next year.